Hey guys, take a brief moment to look at the uh, requirements for these carriers and uh, we'll get started here in a second. What's going on everybody? Hopefully everybody's doing great. Let's get right to business as usual. This is the Super Carriers by Miltech and it's a hell of a lot of fun. Um, first thing I want you to do, now I use Flow. Look for this on your menu, Menu, excuse me, it's called the Super Carriers. Uh, first thing we'll cover, we're gonna go step by step right to business. Enable modern arresters. This is if you have trouble landing. Um, also, any carrier outside of the continental U.S. has a hard time stopping uh, the planes. So if you click on enable modern arresters, um, that's going to pretty much guarantee that you can stop basically any plane that you try to, okay? So that's what that's for. All right, next let's go into the controls and uh, let's launch this baby. So you have four launching points, guys. As you can see, uh, we're at that launching location right there that I'm highlighting. So you'll see a little check there. Um, and you'll hit that. And as you see, um, there's people right away. So uh, great animations. Uh, so I'm going to go basically forward until that launch manager, I call him, whatever you want to call him. I know that's not the technical term. But uh, once I get in the proper position, see, I'm not there yet. Uh, let me get a little farther. I'm going to hit the parking brake, and then I'm still not there. So let me go a little farther. There you go. As you can see, uh, the check mark appears in a colored box now. So once I hit that check mark, the blast shield's going to come up, and you know we are ready to rock. So after that point, we are going to wait just a few moments here, and then uh, that play button will color up again. There you go. So now I'm going to hit full throttle, folks. Let's get that done. And it's as simple as that. So in a few moments here, we'll launch off, and uh, it's a total blast, guys. Really, really easy. Now you can hide that uh, tutorial box, that toolbox, if you want, while you're launching to make it realistic. But there you go. We're off and running. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, um, these things make it just so easy, guys, especially for any folks out there that are struggling to, uh, to, to land uh, on aircraft carriers. So check this out. We can just click approach at any moment and we're lined up absolutely perfectly for the approach. Now, like I was saying, um, drop your hook, drop your uh, landing gear, hit enable modern arresters up there that I just highlighted if you have trouble landing, okay? I'm gonna do this raw because I love the challenge and uh, you know, it's, it's not easy every single time, guys. You have to line up, and uh, this is a video game at the end of the day. So I always try to see my speed, as you see right there. I try to hit a uh, 160 to 180 knots. Um, anything above that, you risk going off the carriers. Uh, so I try to get there, and uh, I use my speed brakes, guys. I use flaps. I cut the engines right about now, and uh, I should be good to go. This is a little, I'm a little high right now. I'm good. There you go. So I hit that, guys. Not the not the most perfect, but again, this is a tutorial. So I got a 3.5, which is a lot of fun. It actually scores yourself uh, for the landings. Now, I don't use the uh, these these indicators right here. Feel free to use those. I just, I just don't do it. I try to eyeball it myself. So um, anyways, so let's go back into the controls, guys. So you see we got four launching areas like I covered before. Now, we also have three elevator decks. Now, let's go into drone camera, and uh, this is pretty cool. So, there's one elevator deck right there. The second one has planes on it, which is cool. When you lower that, those uh, those planes lower, and then you have a third one right there. They're all uh, fully animated, so let's drop this one for a second. So, I just click that, as you can see, and I do use the mouse for this. Uh, much more efficient. There we go. So as you can see, the uh, the elevator deck is lowering. And it's 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 nearly a perfect animation, guys. These are a lot of fun, I'm telling you. You got to uh you gotta try these out. They they are the best uh, carriers based on the uh based on the elevator deck and everything they've done. I also obviously uh really love touching clouds KA tens, but uh you know, why not have a variety? These are these are amazing guys. So um Align to win you can do as well if you want to align to win for easier uh, landing. Multiplayer auto sync, guys, I never use. I don't do multiplayer. So uh, parking, I just clicked parking. Check that out. So now I'm perfectly parked. Engine's off. 
so you can click parking at any point. Uh, since we just did that, let's get into the Quick Taxi. Now, with Quick Taxi, all you have to do is, uh, if you're on an Xbox controller, you have to move the left stick. You're not going to use rudders to turn, only the left joystick, and you cannot have the parking brake on, okay? So take the parking brake off and move it around. Now, if you press forward, it's going to continue to go forward. You have to press back to slow it down. So it's a really, really good feature. You can basically pinpoint wherever you want to go without turning the aircraft on. And uh, it's that simple, guys. So uh, let's go in the hangar. All you have to do is click the hangar. You'll see the plane fall through the deck, and it falls right into place. There we are in the hangar. Uh, so you have to mess around with the camera. Um, let me go in a drone camera real quick like you see. And let me find the aircraft. So is that, that's not mine right there. That's the deck we already lowered. Uh, excuse me, the elevator that we already lowered. It's probably right over here. So let's see. Uh, there I am. So there's my F-18. So I'm going to go in there and drone camera, take a look at it. Now, uh, so say I want to drop that uh, the elevator right next to where I'm at. I'm going to locate it. I just, I know where I went in. So you'll have to just look around and, uh, you know, basically navigate where you are. But I'm going to go into quick taxi, basically move it up if I want. Um, like I said, you'll have to adjust the camera. It's tight quarters in here and say I just want to, you know, park it right there. There we go. So I park it right there, and then I'm going to uh, click that elevator after I turn the aircraft on, of course. So I'm firing that up, and now I'm turning the, uh, the elevator down. So I'm just going to click that elevator right there, and then uh, the elevator comes right down. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm telling you, these, these elevator animations are really, really, really good, guys. They're pure. So uh, I'm going to wait for that to drop. Now you can move the drone camera around. Excuse me for that. You have to go a little lower. Uh, you can move the drone camera around. Take a look at it like that from that view for realistic uh, realism, if you will. And you can always uh, minus or get rid of that Miltech uh, toolbar to the right uh, at any time and pull it right back up so it's beautiful. Hangar looks great, guys. You got F-18s. I don't know the, other, the name of that plane, but I really want it in the game, the one with the propellers and the radar on the top. I can't recall that. Uh, I'm an Air Force guy, not a Navy guy, but it uh, looks really cool. So as you can see, I would eventually uh, pull my F-18 out to that, and then I would rise that up, and it's, it's a lot of fun, guys. Super cool. So now we're back on the carrier deck, guys, and uh, that's essentially it. Don't know why my smoke just turned on, but uh, that's the air show assistance, by the way. But uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun, guys, and the beautiful thing is my, my Xbox has been absolutely in the worst condition it's been after the last two sim updates. The last sim update has been atrocious for me, guys. So the good thing about these are it, my, my game tends to run really good on water, okay? Now, I will tell you guys right up front, we're, I'm aware, Miltech aware, is aware that there are some locations that are harder on RAM than others. For example, outside of the, uh, the Keys, the Florida Keys, that is a heavy RAM area. So you might have some stuttering for now. It's not anything to do with Miltech or anything that we've done. I've tested this for Miltech uh, timelessly, believe me, for hours, and that's an Asobo deal. So uh, th there's no reason not to be upfront with that. Some locations are going to be better performing than others, just like in, the, in, in everything we do in this game. Until Asobo figures out a way to update it efficiently so that we can play on Xbox correctly, uh, that's the case we're in, guys. So, um, but yeah... We've got many locations, guys. I, I'm going to put that up so you guys can see all the locations. And feel free to ask me questions, guys. I've been messing around with this for weeks now. And we've got a lot of uh, stuff that's going to be exciting for Miltech. I'm really happy to be working with Miltech, guys, and be able to test this stuff. They're a really, really good firm. And uh, they build top-tier things, guys. Really, really enjoy working with them and uh, excited about what's, uh, what's to come with that relationship. So... Anyways, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below, and I will do the best I can to help you, okay? Uh, make it a great flying day. Peace.